Ontario Premier Doug Ford has revoked two appointments just one day after announcing them. So far, his office has not given an explanation. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick has the story. Yesterday was a big day at Queen's Park with Doug Ford making a major cabinet shuffle, shaking up his team, kind of hitting the reset button one year into his mandate, moving all these major ministers around. And then hours after that, uh, a news release announcing the appointment of these four advisors, they were being called uh, for postings throughout the United States and in London, England. Advisors on um, international trade and business development for the province of Ontario. The news release touted them as experts in their field. All four people have connections to either Doug Ford, his chief of staff, Dean Frent, or to the PC Party of Ontario. I'll just go through the names. There were Tyler Albrecht, who was appointed to the job in New York, saying that he had worked in finance in New York City and in Toronto. If you take a look at his LinkedIn profile, Andrew, um, it says he worked in New Jersey briefly and a little bit of experience in Toronto. He's 26 years old, so doesn't have that much work experience. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be Taylor possible. Taylor Shields uh, appointed to the London posting. Um, Earl Provost appointed to a Chicago posting. He's the former chief of staff to Rob Ford when he was the mayor. He mm -hmm. currently works for Doug Ford in the premier's office as an advisor. Jack Badwell was appointed to represent Ontario in Dallas. He's the former Ontario PC party president and a longtime real estate agent. Now, these appointments were announced yesterday. Then the Globe and Mail and Global Television started reporting on some of the unknown connections. Those last two are a bit more obvious, Jack mm -hmm. Bagwell and Earl Provost. But Taylor Shields and Tyler Albrecht also having connections to Dean French, the chief of staff for Doug Ford. Tyler Albrecht, a friend of Dean French, is really, they know each other through the lacrosse sporting world. And Tyler Albrecht is a friend of Dean French's son. The Globe and Mail asked uh, the Premier's office about Taylor Shields to confirm that she's the second cousin of Dean French's wife. And it was after that inquiry uh, that they put out a one-line statement saying these two appointments have been rescinded. Why? They won't say. They will not comment. They've repeatedly been asked to explain why mm -hmm. these jobs uh, have been rescinded. Yesterday, they were calling these people highly qualified and experts in their field. Today, they are not being sent to New York City and to London, England for very high paying jobs. They, uh, these appointments are for, um, they would have been paid $165,000, $185,000. As you can imagine, the opposition parties are jumping all over this. The NDP having a news conference today saying that these patronage appointments were gross and a new low, that this is Ron Tavner all over again. Of course, the controversial appointment of the uh, OPP commissioner, Ontario. He was a friend of the premier. That was rescinded. <laughs> right. So uh, mm -hmm. a lot of news still coming out of Queen's Park, even though the legislature isn't sitting. Uh, that's what the story is today, Andrew. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick.